first off, let's talk about the universality of the law of cause and effect. This will help us to understand why we want to visualize. You know, what's the purpose of visualization? Why would I want to need to do that? You know, well, if thought is the cause of your reality and you want to have more control over what you experience and who you become, then you need to have more control over the images and thoughts that are occurring within your mind. The universal law of cause and effect here we have out of the Bible, Christianity, Matthew 7, verse 1 and 2. Do not judge so that you will not be judged. Your verdict on others will be the verdict passed on you. The standard with which you measure will be used to measure you. Essentially, what's going on here is, is as within, so without. You know, what is going on within the mindset that you have internally will be what you express and experience externally. Another verse from the Bible that is even more direct is, as you sow, so shall you reap. You know, your mind is like a garden. That's why like Lao Tzu, who, who wrote the uh, Tao Te Ching, which I think we have a verse from that, he always taught from the garden because your mind is just like a garden. The thoughts that you plant in your mind are the fruits that it bears. So as you sow, so shall you reap. The thoughts that you plant within your mind is going to be what sprouts out into the physical. As you think, so shall you become.